Hey, Moonshine Shoe here. I'm going to show y'all how to make apple pie moonshine. Come on. And in order to make real apple pie moonshine, you need real moonshine. So for this recipe, you're going to need your moonshine. We got some apple cider, some apple juice, some apple juice concentrate. We got some North Georgia Steel Company caramel apple pie mix. Got a few more cinnamon sticks. And if we need it, we've got some more apple pie spice. And we got our jars and our lids. Go ahead and pour your apple cider and your apple juice into your stock pot. Now toss in your apple juice concentrate. Now we're gonna take our North Georgia Steel Company caramel apple pie mix and we're gonna put it in there and then bring this to a simmer. Go ahead and toss in a cinnamon stick and give it a stir. So we've simmered and stirred this for about 30 minutes. Uh, we just go ahead and cut off the heat and it was actually perfect. We had a good amount of uh, spice, we had a good amount of sweetness so we didn't have to use any more apple pie spice. Now we're gonna take that mixture and pour it into the igloo cooler. Now the cool thing about using this drink dispenser is we know that we're gonna make three gallons of apple pie and we have one gallon of alcohol. So we're gonna fill this the rest of the way up with cool water to this line and then the alcohol will bring us all the way up to the third gallon mark. So we're using ice to cool this on down instead of water because you don't wanna put that liquor onto that hot cider. And we're right there, right at the two gallon mark. The cider's cooled down, now it's time to add the moonshine. And this is 180 proof that's going in here. <laughs> now fill your jars. We're gonna drop in a cinnamon stick and cap it. And that's how you make apple pie moonshine, y'all. Cheers.